what is clear is that disaster management and the theme of this conference referring to the five P's, as it was stated, people, the planet, prosperity, purpose, and partnership are all elements that are valued for disaster risk management and for building resilience. Yeah? Disaster management is all about the planet, the impact of climate change, and how that can exacerbate disasters, especially in the Caribbean where the hurricanes and the rainfall events are becoming more frequent, they are more intense, and they're causing greater shocks and impacting people, which is another P of the conference, um, greatly. Yeah? And so having those five Ps together, which are also critical for the tourism sector, and look, taking the, the disaster management lens to those five areas is genius because both, um, both um, areas intersect. There is that nexus between disaster management and prosperity and sustainable development for tourism, especially in this region where tourism is so reliant on nature, heavily reliant on nature. So if we're not able to put in place plans for and strategies and policies for effective disaster management, then it's obvious that the tourism product will suffer. The tourism product, the physical tourism product, and of course, the people whose livelihoods depend on said product. Tell us about the importance of sort of interagency type of collaboration in terms of dealing with disaster management in the Caribbean. You mentioned your work with, with Sedima, but also there's a public health agency in Trinidad, CARFA, um, which also has helped to manage you know, the COVID pandemic, which is another disaster, which impacted not just life in the Caribbean, but also the tourism sector. How are you collaborating with different partners on this particular issue? Good, so as you know, all these agencies are CARICOM agencies or sister agencies of CARICOM, CIMH, who I presented alongside with, and um, CARFA, in the, of course. So what SIDIMA does, SIDIMA really coordinates disaster management in the region. And in the case of, in the event during COVID and in the event of a disaster, we have what is called a partners meeting and Sidima will bring all the partners together and the coordination takes place. It should, the agency brings together all the stakeholders, local and regional stakeholders, as well as international humanitarian agencies. In, during COVID, we had weekly meetings. At the, at the um, first sign of a hurricane or a storm coming to our shores, we start to convene these meetings. We try to find out where are the assets in the event that um, Grenada is in the path of a storm or a hurricane. And uh, at these, what we call the CDPG meetings, which is the Caribbean Development Partners Group meeting, they, we begin to um, strategize and to have things in place in the, for prepare for the impact. As, as time goes by, we do it for Haiti. After impact, what CIDIMA does, again, is to call upon the partner agencies, whether it's international or regional, and we send the resources that are needed. These resources sometimes are physical assets, it could be food, it could be cots, but sometimes it is technical assistance. Where after the earthquake in Haiti, we sent in architects and engineers to assess, to help with the assessment for, of buildings and soldiers for security. Um, so whatever the need is, SIDIMA coordinates. And because of the CARICOM mandate that it has, it is able to pull in all the resources from other agencies in the Caribbean, um, regional and international. At the level of civil society, with the hurricane season um, about to open in another month or so, um, what are your thoughts as it relates to the preparedness of Caribbean people generally as we go through the next several months, um, you, know, you know, bolstering and preparing ourselves 
for potential hurricane activity. So two things that we, sorry, thanks for your question again. And two things that we do generally all year round at the level of the disaster offices in countries, CDEMA is in constant contact with the disaster managers and their ministers. And when we have what is called blue skies, when there is not much happening on the scene in terms of um, a major disaster, we conduct trainings, we prepare our officers and their cadre of professionals to get ready, not just for hurricane season, but any, all other disasters. So we prepare for search and rescues. We do training for post-disaster needs assessment, which is something you'll need to do after if you, your country is impacted. But also we prepare, perfect, we create experts so that if one country in the region is impacted, but they don't have the skill set that other, this person could be deployed to support another state. So we have this coordination that takes place through CDMO. But um, to your question earlier as well, the other thing that we do to ensure that some of this disaster management and preparation filters down from the country level to the sectorial level, for example, with um, in the tourism sector, CDMO has what is called a tourism sector subcommittee where we work with agent organizations like CTO to meet with the private sector and civil society to inform them more about what disaster risk management is all about. And so that's how we take it outside of the halls of the regional organization and in, to filter it down to the national and the sectorial. Finally, your thoughts on, on the Sustainable Tourism Conference coming back, you know, after a while because of COVID. Um, how has it been and um, your reflections? Oh, I am impressed, really. I am totally impressed. I found the early the sessions this morning were quite informative, very insightful. Um, of course, Dr. Marcel is a tough act to follow, but um, the, the information is so rich and... Um, I think I, this is my first CTO conference, but it has left quite an impression on me in terms of the level of organization. And the I think I might have said it to you or somebody else that the theme is such that it allows for all the key issues relating to the sector to be brought to the fore and discussed in a very um, meaningful way. So that would be my um, summary at this point, having gone through the last couple of hours, and I was happy I could contribute just a little bit to sing.